Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to some more RE4 map making. I believe this is part 7. So in this video today, we're going to be working on the area that you go to after obtaining the key from Mendes' house. When you go through this door here and head towards the lake. And something that I want to change from last video is how you get to the mausoleum. Because last time I said that you would get that key from the house and then it would open up both these doors. But I'm not a big fan of that, so instead, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get rid of this gate here. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm going to make it a one-way door. So I'm thinking you go through the door into the caves, and then there'll be a cave that heads up into this area, and that's how you reach it. And then you'll be able to go and open up this door from the other side. That way then, when you're headed through the mausoleum, if you want to go to the village, you don't have to go through the caves, you can just take a little shortcut. So that's going to be the very first thing that I work on today like this building here i'm gonna change i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger yeah so something like this a little bit bigger it's pretty much the same i've just made an extra room that you have to go through in order to reach the ladder and the underground section and then i'm gonna take the caves and just expand them a little bit make them a little bit more open and less linear like i said i'm gonna have the path going up to the mausoleum and also, I want to have some interconnecting paths with pre-existing areas like this shed here, this building. This was open before, but I'm thinking, you know what? Rather than making it open, I might make it a locked door that you have to access through these tunnels. Because it makes sense, you know, the tunnels are right here. And also, I'm going to have one that connects with the basement as well. So having more of that interconnecting... We've pretty much taken every area and added a bunch of interconnecting shit because I really like that stuff. I think it's a really cool map design. Even a linear game like RE4 can have a little bit of exploration to it that doesn't make it feel so linear. Like you're playing Call of Duty or something where it's like a corridor shooter. You see, just a small change like this has made this area feel a lot more open and a little bit more interesting rather than it being like a really linear cave where there's literally one path that little area in the middle where you get those treasures and then you go to the merchant and then to the graveyard. Just adding a couple of branching paths and little side areas and having it interconnect with the village and this uh, building here has made a boring section that takes like 30 seconds to get through into a more interesting section. It's still nothing amazing, but just some small tweaks like that can make a really bland area have a bit more to it you know i've added the path up to the mausoleum so instead of having this gate open with the key that you use to open up this door instead you just go through here and then go up this path here and then you can open it up from the other side something else i'd like to do is just add small shortcuts which make traversing the maps more convenient because this obviously is a more fast-paced game this isn't like Evil 2 or some shit where the whole point of the game is to like backtrack and stuff this is obviously a way more fast paced game. So adding a lot of shortcuts really improves the pacing, you know, makes it feel less tedious to get around. Go down here, little path that leads to that shed or building, wherever it is, that small building. You go up a ladder and you'd be on the other side of that door and you can open it. There could be a treasure in there, a little bit of loot. I find that stuff really satisfying where you find a door that's locked and then later on in the game, you figure out how to unlock it whether it be with like a key or from the other side or with the help of a AI companion. And last thing I want to do is have a another path that leads to this basement. So more interconnecting. So you go into the basement here, take a left turn, and then I'm thinking there'll be a locked door that needs to be unlocked from the other side. So I've added that little room. This is where the door will be right here. And then you'll be able to access it from behind. There'll be like a hole in the wall and if you look at the map it'll be about right here so i'm thinking add a path right there and that's how you'll get to it so we go down here take a turn and then this will lead to this hole in the wall like i said and a locked from other side door there added some arrows so you can see obviously yellow arrow leads to yellow arrow and there's the door Something that I've noticed is that I'm adding quite a lot of treasures to these new areas. And obviously, you don't want to have too many of them. Otherwise, it'll just be unbalanced. But like I said in one of the previous videos, but I'm going to add one of those key systems from 
the old games where you can get keys and it opens up several doors but you can only use them once so that's something that i'll focus on at the end when i finish the entire map because something that i've noticed is that i've been adding like keys and stuff but then i changed my mind so i think it's just better to focus on that when i finished now that i've uh, finished with this area i'm gonna move on to the graveyard just cleaned it up a little bit because i mean if you look at the rest of the map look at how fucking shitty it looks so i've been uh, cleaning up these maps as i've been going along you see it looks a lot more crisp it's just good to clean it up so then when you have those extra details like the arrows and stuff it actually stands out and for the graveyard i'm not really going to do anything to it i'm not going to like change it or add anything to it because i think it's fine the way it is and obviously we've already uh expanded this area which was a really boring section and also added the huge mausoleum so i think this is fine the way it is so instead i'm just gonna move on to this area here so yeah just gonna tidy up this walkway here and also the church that's probably what i'll uh work on next because that's something that i uh want to expand quite a lot with the different floors and stuff i'm probably gonna have about four floors just like mendez's house a basement and a attic as well so keeping the layout pretty much the same i don't really like to fuck about with the pre-existing areas something that obviously you'll notice is that i, I tend to add stuff rather than change stuff this area here though i'm gonna add a lot of shit to i've got some ideas for like having a something that like goes here and then like goes back to this section have like a drop down ladder first thing i'll do though before i get to all that extra shit is add the interior details for the church there we go you see so we've got all those details we've got the locked door here the little stairs that you have to go up to and this is the window that you jump out of with ashley as you can see i've put a drop down section there so when you get ashley you can go back inside and if you really want to you could jump back through got the ladder as well like i said but i'm gonna have a bunch of different floors we'll have the second floor which i'm not gonna do much to and then we'll have a attic which we'll need ashley for and also a basement but in order to get to that well i'll uh, get to that later and although i'm not changing the pre-existing areas of the church too much i am gonna add a staircase here which goes down to the basement but it will be locked it'll be like a locked from other side door so you go into the church explore the bottom floor find the staircase which was in the original and find that locked door right so second floor there this is where it'll lead to you go up this uh, ladder here connects with this ladder it'll just be the same you can obviously jump across the chandeliers and do that puzzle and then go through here and find ashley but what i've done is i've put a ashley boo section right here which leads up to the attic now you can't access this boo spot until you go to the next chapter where you jump through the window and you start here so what there could be is like a cutscene that triggers when you find Ashley. I know there's one already, but instead of it being like a cutscene and then gameplay and then another cutscene where you go down here to Salazar, instead, the cutscene could continue. So like Leon could follow Ashley down to the bottom floor and then that's where you meet Sadler. And then obviously you go to the next chapter and you start off in this room. Because obviously I don't want to make the attic accessible before you meet sadler because well you'll see but it's going to lead to an entirely new area which i don't want to obviously be accessible until you reach the next chapter but yeah let's say you go to the next chapter you start off in that room with ashley where you've jumped through the window you'd open up the one-way door go back into the church there could be those archers that are waiting for you and then what you can do is you can go up to the second floor boost ashley up into the attic and then you can drop down here which will connect right here and that's the spot behind the church where you find that treasure so in the remake this is where you have to go you don't obviously jump through the window but rather than cutting that and replacing it with it i've instead made it a optional thing where you can go back into the church go up to the attic and access this area here which will be like an upper area where you find that treasure and this is going to lead to an entirely new area. I'm going to have it connect here with the walkway, the El Gigante path. And then it's going to go to an entirely new area. It's even going to connect with the lake as well. So it's going to be really cool. 
So if you remember earlier, I said that I wasn't going to expand this area here. Well, I kind of lied. I am going to expand it, but it's not going to be like how it was in the remake, where you could go up to the top when you first go there. Instead, I've made it a return later type area. So when you drop down from the attic down to this spot here, you could lower this ladder, a uh, drop down ladder, and then go down here where you could access some upper walkways, which you couldn't before. And like I said, this is going to lead to an entirely new area. And I think as well, I might have a little side area here as well, which is locked. And then this is also how you'll access it by going all the way across here. Okay, so putting something together here, you can see the walkway that goes across here and connects with the El Gigante fight as well. So when you're in the arena here, you can look up and see like a upper area that you can't reach and this is also where i'm going to have that area be accessible so you go down here take a right and then go down here and this is where it'll be right here and then boom this is where the door will be just like that so yeah you go down here go down this ladder and then you can open up that door from the other side i'm gonna put a treasure here as well i was just thinking though do you know how like in the remake you can go into that area where El Gigante breaks out and you can find that? I think there's a Velvet Blue or something in there. I was thinking, I'm going to do that here as well, where you can go in there once you've beaten El Gigante. But I'm going to take it a step further. So you go inside and you'd look up and you could see another area that you can't access yet. And it'll be this path here. So something like that. Cave... Go inside, look up, you can see this upper area here. And then there'll be another path which goes up here. And that's where that entirely new area is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be like a fishing village or something. Because like I said, but I'm going to have it connect with the lake as well. So you'd ride up here on your boat, look left. And you can see like a wooden wall here that's blocking the way there. And you can look through it and see an area right here. So it's more of that... I can see that area, but I can't reach it yet. And then this is how you reach it. By going down here, all the way across here. And then boom, you see? It's just really sad, you know? Because there was so much potential for added areas in the remake. And they just didn't do anything with it, you know? Like, what the hell were they thinking? You, you can see it, man. You can see the potential they had for adding these new areas. It's just a real shame, honestly. So there's our upper area. Path here, going up here, leads all the way back. So you got this entirely new area with all these different paths. This upper area, all this interconnecting shit, you can see it from earlier points of time. And now you can go here, and it's all interconnected, man. You go all the way to this area. Fishing village, loops all the way back. No backtracking, you know, just good level design. So what I'm thinking for this new area, this new fishing village, is that you'll go this way and then you'll be able to see the fishing village down below. It'll be like a really cool view. So this path here would be like a cave and then you go into this little open area where you could look off into the distance here down below and that's where that fishing village will be right there. Something else I've done though is added the path to the basement. You go back down here, another drop down ladder which leads behind the church. But if you take a right turn, there'll be a ladder, well a bunch of ladders, that lead down to the basement and that's how you'll get in there. And then you can go up the set of stairs via that locked front of the side door. What I'm going to do now though is work on this new area here, that bloody fishing village. And this is what I've come up with, so this is just a rough layout but... Like I said, we go up here, and then that's where that fence will be. Those spiky logs, whatever the fuck they are. This would be a really cool site, though. You can look across the edge here, down at the village. You could even see the settlement over here as well. So I'll add some buildings, add some icons, some treasures and shit, and then we should be done. Alrighty, all done. There's our fishing village. So I added those buildings... And I added a treasure here as well to add a reason to want to come down here. There could be like a cool fight here. 
some buildings to explore, that treasure. Oh yeah, but something else, I added the key that you need to access the sawmill area to this building here. Because I thought about it where I'd put the key before, which was in the mausoleum down in the morgue. And I thought, you know what, that's not going to work because I want the sawmill to be accessible when you get Ashley. So obviously putting it there would not make sense because you don't need to have Ashley in order to get down to the morgue. So yeah, I just changed the location of that, put it in this hut here, this little building, cabin, whatever the hell it is, because you need to have Ashley in order to access this area. So yeah, added the key there, added all the other icons as well, including the arrows, which lead to the areas here, like the attic and stuff. Put a treasure icon there. I haven't moved it. I've just kept it where it is. I did move this one though, rather than it being in the middle here. I just put it into this little side area here. Just to make use of the new layout. I don't know what I'm going to put in this uh, building here yet, so I haven't bothered. I put a merchant icon here. I haven't moved him. And then I put a treasure down in the basement. So I think that's everything. I missed some small details like these drop down points at the walkway and the El Gigante fight and this drop down ladder here and some of the others as well but you can take a look at the map for yourself and have a good look at all of the different icons and paths and shit obviously I'm bound to miss something so that's why you can just take a look but that's all for today's video so I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next one which I believe will be part 8 say now people take care